year. Um, I'm bringing the second episode of Game of Thrones, so I'm going to jump straight into it. This time I'm trying to get with the um, chat border and stuff on, so that when you message it, I don't have to then connect my phone and all the pop-ups come up. Um, so let's jump into the second episode. I did play the first episode previously in a live stream like this. Um, if you want to go and watch that, check it out on my channel. Uh, I can't remember what happened last time or what it said had happened this episode, so... Also, I've never played this episode before. I've played the first one, so I had some what idea of what was going to happen. <clears throat> These are dark days, I fear. To the war. The boy's done nothing wrong. The future of this house is in Lord Ethan's hands now. I've decided to name you as my sentinel, Sir Wilde. I'm just worried about my family. The king was not inclined to offer help for your family. Are you willing to risk an alliance with the crown? It's a risk I'm willing to take, Lord Tyrion. Your mother asked me to cross the narrow sea to find your brother, Rasher. We don't want White Hill men within these walls. You can be my highborn ward. <laughs> Ethan. <laughs> no! So it's very kind of, um, let's say, gruesome. <laughs> What's that? I always forget to do this before I start streaming. I'm just going to close my window. That's what you heard clicking. Oh, we're marine, I think. Just me, Beska. <sighs> Took you long enough. The rail's getting warm. Or warmer, I should say. You can stop pacing. They'll be here soon. Ale. It goes in yellow, comes out yellow. Waste time even drinking it, if you ask me. Considering we found it in an abandoned tavern, it's not bad. They smell off to you. It's the only thing in Yunkai that doesn't. I know. It's a filthy haven for thieves, murderers, Yunkai and other marine. deadly bastards. You should feel right at home. I know I do. May we drink, thieve, and fight until the end. A man of few words. Another round? Have you forgotten about our honored and exalted guest? Go see if he's still breathing. Oh god. <laughs> How's he doing? We need him alive to collect his bounty. After that... I'll kick him. I don't know why. No. Oh, does Asher scare you? <laughs> you should see him when he's angry. Eight hundred gold dragons for capturing him. Lucky we caught him trying to flee Yunkai. Lucky for us. Not so lucky for him. We should find more former slave masters with bounties on their heads. I don't need any more naked fat men in my life, thank you. <laughs> they say only the poor know how to really spend money. We'll buy the finest wines, the best whores. Sleep in a bed without fleas? Sounds nice, doesn't it? Who needs the best doors when the bad ones are so much more fun? 
I God. knew I liked you for a reason. <laughs> My point is, with enough coin, we could do anything. Go anywhere. I could afford passage back to Westeros. To Ironrath. I've heard nothing from my family in years. You mean go home? They treated you like shit there. Kicked you out because you fell in love with a girl from the wrong damn house. Gwyn. A man doesn't choose who he loves. Your family should understand that. Westeros and its bloody houses. Who fucking cares? It's not that simple. In the north, these feuds run deep. Oh, fuck the north. We have a good thing here. He's gonna hit her. And <laughs> any moment now, we're gonna be rich. Let's make a toast. To all of us deadly bastards. To 800 gold dragons in our pocket. Well said. Beske, I thought freed slaves put the bounty on Bazak. They did. With his own gold. So why are the fucking Lost Legion here? Oh, is that Tazal? From the Volantis job? Maybe he's forgotten about that. You! I told you if I saw you again! Tazal! Isn't it funny how life brings all friends together? Now cut your fucking throats! Tavern's closed. What are you doing here? Where is he? Where's who? Here. Four hundred dragons. They must be working for the Wise Masters. And that's all you're getting. Fuck you! He's worth twice that! <laughs> Look at the balls on this one! For God's sake. <laughs> Give us a hundred and you can have him. Don't be an asshole now. We're all cell swords here. We are nothing like you. The Lost Legion are the blood of all Valeria. And we are done taking orders from whimpering pigs. Bloody oh God. Well, we probably should have just taken the eight. And we're done with you too. La da diri zombazi, do ebi me. Tazal, what the hell have you done? You two are going to be useful to me for once. Not bloody likely. The wise masters will hear how Asher Forrester kidnapped the venerable Bezak. How he wouldn't take less than eight hundred gold dragons, so he killed Bezak instead. Me. Luckily. We were there to deliver swift justice. So you steal the money, and we get the blame. Ponteos in us! Bojos me no me jahosukitas! Ooh, fighting time. Uh, what's that? Alright, who dies first? Who wants to dance at the end of the song? Oh god. Kill them! Now! Um, that. No one more life. Here's one! Come on! She couldn't pass me! Oh no! I didn't even know what I was doing. Oh no! <laughs> We're not even ten minutes in our time. She couldn't pass me! To be thou! Ah. Ah. I'm not good. Oh no, oh no. You owe me one. Again, man. I'm so bad with these actions. No. <laughs> For God's sake. Right, I'm next, like. I'm Next episode. Right? I'm gonna put a counter on for how many times I die. What happens if I go for you? What if I go for you? Yeah. Oh, that's the exact same thing. Okay. You owe me one. 
You just do that jump scout. Go, 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 go. This is for Volantis. Beska. Fuck you, Asher. Again? Oh my god. That's four times in a like. Oh no! Is that four times? I think it's four times. Fuck you, Ash. Oh. Tazal, cost me my kids. Blades, kill you, bonyos. Ah! Oh. You know what this reminds me of? <laughs> that brothel in Norvos. You kill me, and the Lost Legion won't stop. To Saul. Kill them both. I should have killed him. I knew it. I'm dead. This is it. What in all the gods of fire and fuck? Who the fuck is he? My uncle. To Saul. Should have killed More him. on their way. We need to go. Come on. Malcolm. Damn. We have to keep moving. Malcolm, stop. Asher. I'm glad I found you, my boy. It's been far too long. What are you doing here? Your brother Ethan sent me. I'm here to bring you home. Oh, whoever's watching, welcome to the stream. Sorry I didn't notice. times I died just then though. I'm awful with these bloody timed actions. <laughs> Roderick! Oh wow, okay. He's um someone who you saw him get stabbed when it was doing the previous thing. Hey. Damn foresters. Have to be 
you so fucking far away. Jesus. This is Drake. Oh. That's far enough. I come from the twins bearing the dead of House Forrester. Lordly types from the looks of them. All right, we'll take them. Well, they're not free, are they? How much are you paying for them? Sir Royland. You again. <laughs> Who have you got this time? Some poor Sir peasant Island. dressed up like a I, lord, uh, a stable boy was... in bannerman's clothes. You did this oh, at Duskendale, oh. and you have the fucking stones to try it again. No, I... This house has suffered the loss of many good men, and you dare come here claiming to have forest <sighs> again. The forest? Leave. <laughs> now. Fine. I'll dump them in the river then. <sighs> you come back here again, you won't be leaving. You got that? I, I heard you. Oh. That was a sheep fucker. I'm sorry, sir. I don't worry yourself. Seven hours. What is it, sir? This one's still alive. You there? Who are you? It's me, Roderick. Roderick? Roderick? By oh, the gods, it is you! Sir? Fetch the maester! Hurry! Fetch the maester! Roderick! Not be awake. The milk of a puppy. Drink. Come now. Don't be stubborn, my lord. Roderick! My lady! No. I am at a very delicate moment in the surgery. Please, I want to see my son. Let him. <laughs> Sir, my lady, I must insist that you leave. <laughs> Roderick, what have they done to you? These wounds would have killed any other man. As it is, he may never walk again. Roderick? <gasps> he refused the milk of the poppy. Oh, that's Roderick for you. Brave as always. But the pain must... <gasps> Roderick! <gasps> Roderick! See you again. Roderick, thank the gods. Brother, I feel oh, I lost oh. you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hurt you. Come here, sister. How bad is it? <laughs> Maestor Tengren says your leg may never fully heal. And your face. These wounds will heal, Talia. I know. You'll be your old self before we know it. 
Roderick, there's something you need to know. Ethan is dead. Ethan? Bruce Bolton's bastard came here and threatened to take me away. Ethan grabbed me. And that monster put a blade through his throat. Like it was nothing. Ethan? How could this happen to him? I can't believe he's gone. Me neither. We're planning to honor Ethan in the grove, alongside father. And now mother wants me to write this song for the funeral. I can't. You can, Talia. I know you can. You can do. <laughs> Breaking the random sounds in the Y. <laughs> it's been chaos here since he died. We have White Hill soldiers stationed in our courtyard. Even the small folk don't feel safe. You need to show everyone who this house belongs to. They need a lot. You're still a hero to them. If you lead, others will follow. I know you still need time to heal, but... I'll be fine, Talia. The Council's meeting in the Great Hall right now, actually. Nobody expects you there, but if you think you're ready... I want to go. Can you even stand? They could use I'm your leadership. It. I guess we'll see. I missed you, brother. You can do this, Roderick. You can do. I know you can. Why'd you do that? I won't let anyone see you like this. Not when the house appears so weak already. I need to attend that meeting. And you will. But you will get there on your feet. It's a long way to the Great Hall. We can't risk you falling where others can see. Get Take my hand. Something. Thank you, Talia. Ready? <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Everyone will be so glad to see you up. Though, I think you'll find that much has changed. If I see a single flayed man, I'm gonna vomit. I, 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 you don't really see it in the um, TV series. Oh, you get played guard again. Castle Black, so this is the seat of the Night's Watch. Stormy John Snow. The wall. Always wanted to see it, but not like this. Recruit at the gate!
Your arrival, is it? Another one for Frostfinger. Yeah, can see. Oh, horse, no less. Giants, doesn't it? You're new, here to take the black. Because mm. you got that look about you. Aye, I am. Thought so. I'm new here myself. Frostfinger, he's the one you want. Handles all new recruits. Hmm. Which one's Frostfinger? That grizzled old prune over there. Says us new recruits are all dead men. But don't let him scare you. <laughs> that's just his way. You seem nice. That's not so good round here. Great positive attitude. Mm -hmm. Your Frostfinger. You recruits. You come, you train, you fight, you die. Who are you, boy? I'm Gary Tuttle, nephew to Duncan Tuttle, Castellan of Ironrath. Gary Tuttle of Ironrath. And how does a Castellan's nephew get himself sent to the wall? You thief. A raper. I killed a man who murdered my family. Then you know how to fight, at least. And you're no liar, either. Sir? From Duncan Tuttle, Castellan of House Forester. My uncle wrote to the Night's Watch. He goes on for a bit, but then he asks us to make you a ranger. As if it's a knighthood. So you see, Tuttle, I know all about you. You are a killer. Even if you are man enough to own up to it. If you say so. I do. Now then, I'm we'll start your like training in the morning. Cocky. For it's... today, you need yeah. a cot and a cloak. <laughs> Understood. Oh, and Tuttle, sooner or later, the Night's Watch will be your death. When it comes, try to make it quick. Again, with a positive attitude, I like it. <laughs> Back here. Last we'd heard, Asher was in Slaver's Bay, so Malcolm caught a ship headed for... They give us month-old bread. Ugh, there's fucking worms in it. The Lord Whitehill is about this. We should just take what we need. I'd rather die. Whitehill soldiers always starving. seem to be angry, and we have too few men to handle them. Let's just get to the Great Hall. You know what else? No fucking wine. Well, there must be wine in the cellars. De Gaulle's locked him up tight, just like his own cunt. He has no... Is that him? Has to be, doesn't it? He's hideous. Had a run-in with Walter He's a Fred, did you? cripple. And he's leaning on a girl. I should have buried him with the corpses. Forest is a real first. shame about your leg, my oh, lord. Give us a toss. Don't let go of your sister now. We have business in the Great Hall. <laughs> go round. 
get out of my way. I'm quite comfortable, thank you. And I don't think you're gonna make me. I wonder what's weaker. Your legs? Or this house? I am the lord of this house, and you will move. Go on then, my lord. It's madness. You can't starve I them out. I will not coddle our enemies. So you'd rather they riot? Both of you, please. If they riot, we'll fight. That's foolishness. It doesn't matter what you think. It's my decision as Sentinel. My lords. Roderick. My boy. Come, join us. Lady Talia, hmm. you should have told us the Lord needed help. Wait, so will I have to pick a new it's sense good. from now? It's good to see you awake, Lord Roderick. We didn't expect you so soon. The Maester said it would be weeks before you were walking, if you walked again at all. It was highly probable. Estro Tengrin doesn't know everything. Oh no, I feel Who bad. Who among now. us does? Who oh, indeed? Dali has told me the state of our house. Then you know our situation is grim. No thanks to your sentinel. He's riling up the Whitehill soldiers. They're our bloody enemies! You'll bring Lord Whitehill down on us, you fool! My lords, please! Oh, I'm a fool! At least I was there by Ethan's side when Ramsay Sir stole. Ryland. Ethan made it clear I wasn't wanted. He needed you there. Now he's dead and Ryan's a hostage. And what have you done to get him back? Nothing! I am your lord. Of course. Apologies, my lord. The Whitehills have my brother. We fight amongst ourselves when we should be fighting them. We'd need an army to win that fight. If we don't have one. Not anymore. Summon our allies, then. I'm afraid we have none left, my lord. We've heard little from the Glovers since the Ironborn took Deepwood Mott. Halsey's Helliva, Grayson and Brownbarrow were all slaughtered at the Twins. And the rest of our allies are terrified of the Boltons. You forget the Glenmores. Ooh. You'd be wed to Elena Glenmore already, if not for the war. And her father is no coward. Now that you've returned, the marriage can proceed as planned. The marriage? Well, much has changed. The Glenmores may no longer desire the union. Lady Elena will decide for herself. Your betrothed is on her way here as we speak. Lady Elena? She's coming now! I'm not ready. My son, I understand your doubts, but if she still wishes to marry, we'd have the allies we so desperately need. Their army would become oath-bound to Roderick. And we could burn High Point to the fucking ground! Yes, this marriage could be our chance. Of course, we must hope Lady Elena still wants to marry Roderick. We're talking about a marriage, not an Ironwood contract. Italia does have a point. I'm not the man I used to be. You can still make her happy, Roderick. And she can do the same for you. If Elena does come to Ironrath, she'll see those soldiers in the courtyard. We starve them out, and they'll have to leave. I'd rather they be lying around drunk than setting the stables on fire. My lord, perhaps you could put an end to this tiresome dispute. Just handle it. 
Perhaps a few meals are in order, but no wine. It's a start, at least. Good. Now, if there's nothing more to discuss. Maester, it's time to light the ironwood torches. Yes, my lady. Welcome back, my lord. It's got to be back. Whoa. Gregor last lit these torches when his mother passed. Ironwood doesn't burn easily, he told me. But foresters have a way. And now we light them for him and Ethan. How is your song coming? Hmm. Ethan always helped me with music. It's not the same without him. You're a fine musician, Talia. You'll do a great job. Everyone knows how much Ethan meant to you. I'm sure it will honor him well. About you can hear rustling and getting a tune. I sent a letter to Mira. The Tyrells hold much influence over the Glenmores. I don't know where things stand between her and Lady Marjorie, but maybe your sister can find a way to help. It's entirely ridiculous. If it's not the flowers, it's the food or the table settings. Is that the letter to the orphanage? Yes, my lady. It's nearly done. Make sure to tell them we'll send all the leftovers. And mm, something nice after that. Lady Marjorie intends to visit again very soon. Lovely. They'll be pleased to hear that. Yay. I had to borrow that from father. Mine was stolen. Can you imagine? Oh god, yeah, I stole it. <laughs> I wonder who it was. <laughs> yeah, I wonder who it was. Oh, are there any more invitations <laughs> to send, or are we finally done with the cursed things? One more. An invitation to Sir Maynard. Ah, yes. One of my father's favorite drinking companions. <laughs> oh, my nose is running and I hate it. I don't know why it's so hard. I have a letter for Lady Mira Forrester. Thank you. My pleasure, Lady Mira. What is it, Mira? It's from my mother. She asks that I help ensure Roderick's betrothal to Elena Glenmore remain intact. How can you do that from a thousand leagues away? Ah. It's my help she's after, isn't it? She's a bold woman. Most would shy away from asking such things. Forgive my mother. She doesn't see the harm in what she does. She's not entirely wrong. A letter from me could encourage the Glenmores to honor the betrothal. But it wouldn't be very discreet you'd be forcing their hand. That isn't the way I do things. You pushed me before and you saw the results. I'm sure your brother can secure the marriage on his own. I want to say yeah, because I'd I want get Marjorie going. to stay as an ally instead of an enemy. Mira, we'll talk more later. Because like, beat up by Joffrey. Wait, but we have the other stamp, so could we thought, like, um... Forge a letter? Hmm. Is that going to be an option? I feel like it is. Oh, would you look at that? One piece of paper left. <laughs> if Lady Marjorie wrote a letter... No, I'm not doing it. I'm sorry, Roderick. Sir Maynard. You are hereby invited 
Mira, Lady Marjorie sent me to pick up the letters. Sir Maynard. Oh, the man's breath smells like a brew house. I was hoping I'd catch you at something slightly more exciting. A love letter, perhaps? Or a declaration of war? I know you're very busy with Lady Marjorie and... and all that's happening with your family. But I was hoping we could talk. Hmm. If you don't mind. What about? Well, it's... We really should get these letters sent first. Do you need any help with those? I've got them. Okay, now I'm glad I finished the letter. If I was writing the new one, she would have walked in like, Oh, what are you writing here? And she's a snitch, so we would have got in trouble. Bloody cold today, isn't it? Seems to keep getting colder. They say it'll be a short autumn. Oi, fuckhead! You might be new here, but you're in my spot. So move. Can't be bothered. I'm just going to stand there and stare at him. Okay. <laughs> no fucking answer. Most of you will be dead within the year. <sighs> Frostfinger and his bloody speeches. If you want to survive in the night's watch, listen close. You know why I got sent to the wall? The wall was erected over Shh. 8, You'll years get us in trouble. Don't be such a bootlicker. At this girl I used to fuck now and again. Face like a queen, tits like a whore. Turned out she was married to some lordling. He tried to stick me with this. I stuck it in him instead. So next time I say move, you best fucking move. Shut up for once, will you? What's your problem? I'm sick of Finn bragging about all the girls he's fucked. And what diacrime are you here for? Fucking potatoes. Potatoes? I got caught stealing a bag of them. You both need to stop talking. Nobody cares, thief. Don't call me that. My name's Cotter. Cotter the potato thief. There's one for the songs. Oi, my sister was on. I've got something for your sister. Will you stop arguing? Who in seven hells is talking back there? Tuttle, who was it? <laughs> These two were arguing. I don't care, I'm being a snitch. Not wise to point the finger at your new brothers. Oh, for God's sake. Garrett Tuttle here wants to be a ranger. Uh. So we can go north of the wall and die on some wildling spear. But what he wants doesn't mean shit. <laughs> so today you're all gonna show me what you're made of. Can you swing a sword? Shoot a bow? Are you strong? Those who do well might just survive. The rest of you. Frostfinger. Yay, Jon Snow. I need a word. Go on, get started. No words start beating the hell out of each other. Best of luck, Tuttle. Here we go. Again. Bows up. See those dummies? Those are fens. Come to eat your brains for breakfast. Again. Mm, you need to find somewhere to train. That's a hole. Can I use that? Oh, pet. Oh, I don't want to do that, yeah. You're doing that all wrong. But we don't have these, we're like... <laughs> Man's ready will shit himself when he sees you coming. <laughs> Let me show you. Oh, 
All right, let's see if you can aim worth a wildling's arse. Shoot the targets I tell you to. Let's start easy. Middle dummy, center of the chest. You can follow orders at least. Next bolt. Left target, head. Good. Right target, chest. Not bad. Center, between the eyes. Oh God. One less wildling. You hit all of them. Nicely done. Again. I'm not sure, at this point, is Jon Snow commander of the wall, or...? Finn thinks he's so bloody clever. If a real wildling got his hands on him... Ah, he's just a bully. Aye, he is. That's why I took this. Swiped it right off him. Don't tell, all right? I don't think he'd take it kindly. I can't promise anything. I'm trusting you. Don't let me down. Okay, so sword training I want to do now. I hate the bloody camera angles it gives you. Practice sword. Oh, wait, oh, I get to pick. Oh wait, I won. I this one should do. I'll be sparring with you today. Remember, these blades are dulled, but a sword's still a sword. Good luck. Right. See what I gotta do. Block. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> when he attack, but you also on, defend. Keep at it. Side step. Well fought. Get off me, you bloody ox! You got lucky. What was the other thing? This castle black. Oh, wait, what? Oh God, we're on left stuff now. You there, recruit. Scrawny, aren't you? See if you can carry one of these barrels over to the winch. What's in it? It's pitch. Dump it off the wall and it'll burn the wildlings down to their fucking bones. Right. I can do this. And <coughs> left. <sighs> Want some help? <laughs> I really want to kill him. I hope he dies. <laughs> Oh yeah. Mr. Jones there. Don't hurt yourself, tough man. I'm thinking steward for you. You can help Frostfinger wash his cock. If the thing isn't frozen off. Oh, you're a prick. You know that? Yeah, I do. Lucky. 
You're pathetic. Fuck off. You didn't even try. A crossbow's a coward's weapon. Besides, I could hit that dummy from here with my... Where is it? Where the fuck's my knife? If someone has it, I'll cut their fucking balls off. How the fuck should I know? You were the last one I showed it to. Well, you and... It was you. What? You little fucking thief. It weren't me. Finn, don't. Give me my knife. I don't have it, I swear. Out of my way. Got it. Do something. Just calm down. Fight it. I hit a punched him. I won't say it again. Didn't. And Kara defended him. The last thief I caught no longer has hands. I swear I don't have it. He must have hid it. <laughs> and you? I expected better, Tuttle. Instead, I find you doing this on your first bloody day of training. Sir, not I... another word. You clearly need a few days scrubbing the latrines. Crossfinger. I need another man to top the wall. Fine. Let him freeze his balls off. I'll deal with this one. Get off! Mind your fucking manners. You, come with me. Wow. He had it off his bloody sleeve. <laughs> I could have dubbed him in, but then they would be like, so you're a snitch as well. This way. I love King's Landing in the afternoon. The sun just barely kisses your skin. You used to love this place. Remember, we'd come listen to the musicians in the evening with Lady Marjorie. You're right. It's beautiful here. Mm. Just through here. Oh, again, there's new, another person what watching. Welcome to the stream. You'll see. Queen Cersei's finest wine. Oh, she's stolen from the Queen. <laughs> You're going to get us both in trouble. Relax. Nobody will miss it, I assure you. A little won't hurt. Let me a rogue. I oh, watch guard come or something now whilst I'm <sighs> drinking it. So, I, uh. Well, I just. I'm not very good at this sort of thing. Listen, if I tell you this, Mira, you must promise to keep it to yourself. You can tell no one. I swear, I won't tell a soul. My mother was a handmaiden to Lady Elena for many years. She became pregnant. It was a disgrace to her family. My true name is Sarah. Flowers. You're a bastard? Yes. 
I'm fortunate to be where I am. I know that. But oh. I always have to hide. Was your mother from a noble house? She must have been, to serve Lady Elena. Yes, though it's not well known. Distant cousins of the Tyrells, I'm told. Oh God. They wanted nothing to do with me after my mother died. Oh, I'm looking so at sorry, my phone. Sarah. It's just I don't want to be Sarah Flowers forever. I need Lady Marjorie to arrange a marriage for me. It's my chance at a life. Have you tried asking Lady Marjorie? It's not something I can simply ask for. I need her favor first. I know she often confides in you, and I was Hoping that maybe sometime when she comes to you wanting to talk, you might suggest she talk to me instead. Give me a chance to win her over. Coming from you, it's sure to mean a lot. Of course, Sarah. Thank you, Mira. Thank you. I'm so sorry. Here I am talking about myself. I know your family's troubles are much greater than mine. With what oh, happened I'm to your brother, for nearly an hour. your father. You need this more than I do. <laughs> Drink your problems away. Oh, God. Mm. Uh oh. A conspiracy of handmaidens. Lord Tyrion. My lord. Ladies. What have we here? If you mean to drink from that flagon. Care to join us, Lord Tyrion? Hmm. Not the finest arbor red, but a favorite of my sister's. Quite expensive for a handmaiden. I'd be curious to know how you got hold of it, since I'm certain my sister didn't give it to you. I took the wine from the cellars. Aren't you full of surprises? I suggest bringing cups next time. There are risks worth taking. Stealing wine from the Queen Regent isn't one of them. Especially if you wish to have an alliance with me. God's sake. I Things have found changed. It. My father has recently taken an interest in Ironwood. Most of the Royal Navy went up in green flames. It must be rebuilt. He insisted I handle things myself. I'm on my way to meet representatives of Lord Whitehill. Lord Whitehill? He's hired a pair of merchant lords to broker for his house. It would seem Lord Whitehill wishes to sell the ironwood right out from beneath your family. I don't know much about the man, but judging by his up-jumped sellswords, negotiating with him won't be pleasant. You can't trust Lord Whitehill. I don't intend to. Come with me. These men think I have no choice but to deal with them. Imagine their surprise when I bring a forester to the table. It might be the first fun I've had in months. My lady. Oh, second person. Hello, welcome to the stream. If you haven't done already, make sure you smash the like and subscribe button. And if you haven't checked out the first episode, you should. It's on my channel. It'll be the most recent upload. We've been waiting here for an hour. Andros, be courteous. Courtesy in a merchant. Like finding gold in your chamber pot. Apologies, my lady. Who is this? Some girl you've brought for entertainment? She's a lady, Lord Andros. My name is Mira Forrester. Mira Forrester? Why are you here? A fair question. We were told we would be speaking to Lord Tyrion alone. This is no place for a forester. That's a private matter, my lords. Foresters have nothing to offer, my lord. If you want Ironwood, you'll have to deal with the White Hills. Andros? I'm sorry, Lady Mira, but we've already spoken to Lord you Tyrion. You spoke, I listened. Lady Mira has since persuaded me to consider her offer first. 
Now, if you'll excuse us. You're going to dismiss You us? can't do this. I assure you, I can. This is a mistake, my lord. I don't think so. Lord Whitehill will hear of this. He's not a man to take such matters lightly. There's no need to make threats. You have no idea. Lord Tyrion. Lord Tyrion, do let me know when you've come to a decision. I'd like the opportunity to change your mind. Lady mm. Mira. Good day, gentlemen. Ah, well, that was fun. Now, as for your offer, what did you have in mind? My lord? The Crown's Ironwood. I assume you have a proposition? You had a reason for coming here. I know it wasn't just to entertain me. My family can supply all that the Crown needs. You're suggesting the Foresters be our sole supplier of Ironwood. Lord Whitehill will be left in the cold. If he wishes to sell to the Crown, he'll have to do so through your family. You will have him at your mercy. Or you'll bring your houses to open war. I'm going to guess it'll be the open war. You do know that's a possibility, don't you? With you as a partner, that won't happen. As Master of Coin, I can do many things. But sending an army to the north is not one of them. However, I know your house needs this. I'll consider the arrangement. Of course, you'd have to do something for me in return. Don't worry. The terms will be fair. Whatever it is, I'll do it. I just asked you for an open favor, and you agreed as if I were inviting you to tea. You're either very brave or very foolish. We have an understanding then. Thank you, my lord. This will either be very good for both of us, or very bad for you. For your sake, I hope it's the former. My lady. I'm playing this now. Oh, uh, Asha. Right, we're actually playing that. I thought we were just stood here watching. <sighs> oh. They were headed for the main gate. I know another way. You come in with us then. If you're to save your house, you'll need more than the two of us at your side. You'll need an army. That's why you're here, isn't it? To hire one. An army of sellsorts. And a man to lead them. Do you hear what I'm saying, boy? Lead them yourself, uncle. When I was your age, I too was asked to lead men to save my house. But I failed. And we lost everything. This is your fight, Asher. Your family. None of that matters without sellswords to hire. And all the companies around here are engaged. What about Croft? One-eyed Croft, with the second sons. They're all with the Targaryen girl now. But Croft owes me a favor. I'm pretty sure he hates you, actually. No. He'll help us. I'll make sure of it. And how are you going to do that? We didn't part on the best of terms. I'll be charming. <laughs> right. Wow. 
while you're closing the doors, something's well, gonna happen. This mother of dragons and her cell swords are headed north, so we make for Marine. Wait, Marine? <laughs> Shit. What? Unfinished business there. I don't want to talk about it. We can't afford any distractions. It's not your problem. It'll be fine. It's fine. I trust you, Beska. I shouldn't have said anything. I said I was with you, little brother. And I meant it. Ponte Renas! Yeah. Okay. Just people waving the house. Um. Just one more we'll have to kill later. Let's go. You did well back there, Asher. You acted like a true leader. You two can talk about it later. We need to get out of here. They won't stop looking for us. It's a long journey to Marine on foot. I hope you're ready, Asher. It won't be easy. Just try to keep up, Uncle. Don't you worry about me. Either we cross the narrow sea with an army at our backs, or House Forester will not survive to see winter. Hello? Oh wait, this is my room, okay. I should have bossed in. Make sure nothing's missing. Everything's still here. I have information that will aid you with the imp. Meet me in the gardens at midnight. I sort of got it if it's a little chop, like coal boy, whatever his name is. <laughs> oh. There. <clears throat> that should last through Lady Elena's visit, at least. There's been no news from Mira. She may not have found a way to help with Elena. We'll be fine, Mother. I pray you're right. Lord Glenmore's army could keep us from ruin. But Elena must still agree to the marriage. <clears throat> My lord, 
You might remind Lady Elena that in terms of lineage, you are still very much a man. Maester. What I mean is, if the two of you wanted to produce an heir, it should not be a concern. That was never in question. Of, of course not. I just meant... Enough, Maester. When last we spoke of Elena, you seemed unsure how she might feel about you. You just have to show her that you're still the man she knew. I don't mean to burden you with unwanted advice. But this is an important day for all of us. You're making me nervous, Mother. Don't be. You'll do fine. It's got the whole oh, house depending on you, like. Roderick? You look... I know, I'm unspeakably handsome. I see you haven't lost your sense of humour. <laughs> no. Just two limbs and half a face. <laughs> Please. So, it was Asher who was supposed are. to marry someone. I'm glad to see you up and about. You look as beautiful as ever, Elena. Oh, thank you. I set out for Ironrath as soon as I heard you were alive. My father suggested I wait, but I can't believe it's been two years. Your brother's name day feast. We danced until the sun came out. But now your house prepares for a funeral. And you... Tell me the truth, Roderick. How are you, really? And please, be honest with me. I don't mean to pry, but... I won't lie. Every day is a battle. I can only imagine. So much has changed since we were children. Playing hide-and-seek in the grove and... You're so easy to find. You always hid behind the same tree. <laughs> Maybe I wanted you to find me. But Roderick, I am. Um, I need to ask you something. When I arrived at Ironrath today, your courtyard was filled with soldiers. White Hill soldiers. They said some terrible things. The White Hills are your oldest enemies, Roderick. Why are they here? Has something happened? We weren't given a choice. Those soldiers are here at the orders of the Bolton. That's horrible. Bruce Bolton must mean to occupy Iron. No. He just wants to show our loyalty. I'm going to be honest with you, Roderick. I have always looked forward to our marriage. But in light of all that's happened to your family, My father is questioning the wisdom of our betrothal. He wants me to call it off. No. And what do you want? I've been asking myself the same question. And frankly, I'm torn. I don't care about your scars, Roderick. I love the boy you were. And I can love the man you are. But my family can't get drawn into a war with the Boltons. They're the Wardens of the North. And they flay their enemies. I know things may look bad, but I won't let our houses fall. I wish I could stand by you, Roderick. But I have to be practical. Lena. It doesn't matter how we feel. How can I ask my father to risk everything? Even for you. Because in them, I am one of you, Elena. Roderick. I wish that was enough. I'm sorry. But I have to think of my family. God damn it. I'm going to tell Father the betrothal is off. If it helps, we can delay the announcement. It'll give you time to get your affairs in order. Deepest apologies, my lord. 
I tried to stop him, but... So, the rumors are true. Mm. You have no right to just... And if it isn't Elena Glenmore... You're not still marrying into this wretched family. My father has not yet made a decision. Well, for what it's worth, you can do much better than this cripple. And my son Griff needs a bride. Get out. Now. How rude of you. Your mother's the one who invited me here. That's not true. I sent a raven to Lord Whitehill about letting Brian attend the funeral. But I never expected him to barge in like this. Oh, she practically begged me to come. Of course, I'd want the same in her position. The youngest son hung to mourn his dead father and brother. What sort of a game are you playing, Whitehill? I just want to be certain that you know your place. Lord Ramsay ordered your family to obey my soldiers until my son Griff arrives from Harrenhal. Now, I hear you're ordering them around. It makes me start to question your obedience. Lud, enough of this. I do not have to obey. See? That's just the kind of arrogance I'm talking about. Sure. Here's the idea. We're gonna make a fresh start, you and I. Your brother Ethan called me Craven. But you're a different man entirely, aren't you? So, if you want Ryan at that funeral, show Lady Elena you respect your betters. Kneel and kiss my shiny ring. Just do it, Roderick. You don't want to end up like your brother, do you? I'm not kissing your ring. Do what you must. Fine. I'll just tell Ryan you didn't want to see him. No, please. And because of your defiance, I'm taking what should have been mine in the first place. The other half of the Ironwood Forest. You can't Ramsay do that. Snow said... I know what Ramsay said. I'm saying something else. As of today, I harvest Ironwood from wherever the fuck I please. <sighs> And you can't do a bloody thing to stop me. Would you defy an express order from House Bolton? I've known Roos Bolton my whole life. As long as he gets his ironwood, he won't care. Well, I have what I came for. I'll leave you to your business. Oh, by the way... My men have a name for you. Roderick the Ruined. Isn't that clever? Mm. Should I have now, like, um, Neil? He's always been a brute. I'm just glad you didn't submit to him. Mm. You'd put your pride ahead of your family. For God's sake. What's Paul Ryan going to think? We can't afford to show weakness, Mother. It would have been a minor sacrifice. My Lord, are you well? I'm going to kill that man. Yes. Back on the wall. Hey. Hmm. You can't be fighting with the other recruits. You need those men to have your back. Fair enough. Yeah, I should have. Because then There's we would have had the son there, uh, not son, the like younger brother. Own. You're right. I didn't even read I'm that. Sorry. I'm Garrett. Frostfinger told me about you. Seems to think you might be trouble. It won't stop bothering me. 
you were a squire. He thinks you have potential. He said... You fought for the North, with the Foresters. You were there. At the Twins. Yes. I still don't understand. Three thousand men, and not one could save my brother. Why didn't anyone fight back? Why didn't they rally to their king? Nobody was expecting it. One minute we were drinking and telling jokes, and the next... The phrase cut us open. Those cowards. Couldn't face Rob like men, so they stabbed him in the back. They couldn't even give him an honorable death. Let him die fighting. Your brother would have won the North's freedom. He deserved to be king. He was good at it. He was good at everything. Now the Freys command River Run, and the Boltons are wardens of the North. After what they did, it's not right. Uh, they killed my lord. They killed my lord. I couldn't stop them. I keep thinking if I'd been there, I could have done something. But chances are, I'd be dead too. Whatever I once thought, my place is here. With the night's watch. There are those here who will hate you for who you are. Southerners who will call you traitor. Northerners who will call you craven. Some won't even have a reason. They'll hate you anyway. You can't do anything about it. Trust me, I know. Why would they hate me? You're different than them. Most of the men are criminals forced to take the black. You were a squire for a noble house. What happened to you today happened to me more times than I can count. I learned there's nothing more important than having brothers you trust. Mm. Oh. I felt the same first time I saw it. I heard you want to be a ranger. Why? Why risk your life out there? I want to protect House Forrester. You'll protect them by doing your duty here. Not many recruits want to be rangers. They'd rather stay here where they think they'll be warm and safe. But Mance Raider marches on the wall with a hundred thousand wildlings. I've seen them for myself. Oh, so I think this, here is, this will be after... Thieves, rapers. You won't like most of them, and they won't like you. Yeah, this They're is after brothers. Jon Snow's, like, joined the wildlings for a little bit and then come back. Can you see past your differences? I'll stand with them. Glad to hear it. I'd say you'll get used to the cold, but you won't. Come on. Better get by a fire, or you'll end up like Frostfinger. <laughs> okay, so we're playing his mirror again. Are we? Yeah. I'm here, but where are you? <gasps> yeah, I'm calling it. It's the little boy who brought us the um, letter from my mother before.
because he said in the last episode he could help us. Well, maybe it's not. Oh, I know exactly where do you think oh. you're going at this time of night? I, I was just headed back to my room. It's a little late to be out, isn't it? Do you know what this uniform means? It means you serve the Lannisters. So you best get yourself back to your chambers. And I mean, now, if you don't like it, you can take it up with the commander. Is there no way I can change your mind? Did you not hear me? Hmm. At ease, Lucan. The lady is with me. I don't know who that yes. is. Is that supposed to be? Yes. Enjoy your night. Is it supposed to be Jamie? I hope he wasn't bothering you, my lady. No, sir. I'm Damien. <laughs> Thank you, Damien. It was my pleasure. You got my note. That was you. I'm very glad you could make it. I've been wanting to talk to you for quite some time. Why all the secrecy? If you wanted to talk to me, you could have asked. It never seemed the right time. I am sorry about this, Mira, but you've made enemies of the wrong people. A handmaiden should know her place. I... I should go. I'll make this quick if that helps. I'd hate to see you suffer. Oh no, um... I can't leave the little boy. He, he was trying to help us last time. You? What? What? What happened? What, what was that? What did it look like? He tried to kill me. Why would he do that? What are you doing here? I heard yelling. You did what you had to do, Lady Mira. You had no choice. I need to get back. Someone might see me. I'll take care of it. I know a few places in Fleabot. No one will ever find him. Good luck. And be careful. Thanks. Everything all right, sir? <gasps> Why are you running with a knife in your hand? Where are you? Keep it. If people are trying to kill me, I need a weapon. I need to be able to defend myself. But then, yeah, because if I would have tossed it, people might have found it. And the guard saw me with him. Yeah, I think I've done the right decision. Gwyn Whitehill doing here? No idea. Hello, Roderick. Sir Ryland. It's been a while since we've met. Yes. Last time I saw you, you and my brother had almost started a war. 
Your father wanted to murder Russia for your little love affair, remember? That was a long time ago. May we speak privately? My lady? Yeah, I think I made the right choice. Roderick, I came here because... I know how hard these past few days must have been for you and your family. I know my words probably mean nothing to you, but they're all I have. Thank you, Gwyn. I'm so sorry, Roderick. Your brother didn't deserve this. Neither of them did. Listen, I know my father is intent on using Ryan as a hostage, but I think you deserve some news of him. I know it's little consolation, but if I can offer you this... So you have news of Ryan? Yes, he's well. Not happy, but just know your brother is safe at High Point. I'm looking after him, but... What? The other day he said something that made me worry. He asked me if his father died. Because he was a coward. He asked if he was really a thief and a traitor like my father says. I don't wish to upset you, but... Please help him, Gwyn. Don't let him believe what your father tells him. I've been doing my best to set him right. But he is only a child. He feels forgotten. Alone. He's waiting for his family, but every day my father tells him they will never come. That they've chosen their pride over him. And with each passing day, those words start to sound like truth. We all think of him every day, trying to find a way to bring him back to us. Will you tell him that? Of course. But if you truly want to bring Ryan home, this war has to end. You know that. We don't have to be enemies, Roderick. Hello, Gwyn. It's good to see you, Talia. I hope I can count on your discretion. Roderick, you should speak to Mother. Mother, come join the others. He should be here. He should be with his family. But instead they send her. Gwyn may be able to help us. It's happening all over again. I can see it. My father's house was once mighty like this one, but his loyalty to the Targaryens cost us dearly. I watched as countless of our kin fell, saw our lands destroyed, everything we clung to was ripped from our hands. I can't watch that same fate before this family. Our house. My children. Our family is strong, Mother. We will not fall. Many men are strong, and still the night takes them. You must be ready to defend us, Roderick. Your body Ow, may be I'm damaged, but your spirit must be like iron. You let nothing stand in your way, do you understand? If you have to murder every last White Hill down to the babes in their beds, no matter Ooh. what, you must do it. Promise me. Ooh. I will kill anyone who stands in my way. I will do whatever it takes. Okay. Remember that. You must be ready. Promise me. We will be ready, mother. I refuse to kill women or Mira, children. I, I kill any, even get any man. They all stand with okay. us. <laughs> we are strong. Yes. I suppose we have to be. Would you say a few words, my lord? Was it going to make me decide what to say? Oh. <laughs> My father. He was everything. Everything I ever wanted to be. He showed me what it is to be a lord. He was brave. so brave. I never knew better man. And I am. I am sorry. I love you, Father. Ethan, my little brother. He stood up to Ramsey Snow. 
He saved our sister's life and paid with his own. He was only a boy. We honor Lord Gregor Forrester, my husband, my love, and our Lord Ethan, my sweet little boy. But now is time to say goodbye. Father and son are returned to the earth, to the ice. And from their sacrifice, new life begins. Iron from ice. Iron, Iron from ice. ice. <laughs> And um, the fire is blue. Like, I liked it before when there was light and the torches in the Great Hall, but it's just amazing. <laughs> from eyes, from eyes, we forced us born. To eyes we all return Father, brother, I've sworn, I've sworn To guard this rest you've earned I'd bear my neck to ill in pain and swim This is going to be the end. I'm going to talk over it for a bit. Um, so if you enjoyed the stream, Sweet Calibur, you've been here for about, I would say roughly about half an hour to an hour. So thank you for the support. It's been great having you in the stream. Um, I'm not sure when I'll be doing the next episode, but I'm probably making another video declaring when to so have a set date. So if you want to join back for that, I'm happy to have you. Um, when this is over, I'm going to end the stream here. And I'll hope to see you next video. Right, okay, so you got notifications on, that's great. What is going on? <coughs> Roderick, you have to do something. Lord Whitehill's son has arrived. Oh. Griff Whitehill means to torment us. Nothing worse than a fourthborn with something to prove. It was bad enough when it was just the soldiers. We can't live with them under our roof. Form up oh. and follow my lead. You'll be taking your vows. You too, Tuttle. Time to start proving you're a brother. The things we do for family. I wonder sometimes if it's worth it. All the sacrifices. Enjoy the wedding. How much further to Marine? A few days. If the Lost Legion doesn't catch up to us first. No. I overheard a couple of men whispering about the Lannister Guard. They're questioning people. Is there anything else for you to be worried about?
What was that? I'm not sure if that was a dragon. Oh, right, okay, oh. So no one forged the letter. Well, a, a, a lot of people didn't kiss the ring, actually. Hmm. Yeah. So the only thing that I was actually like down on, it's it's over fifty percent, so it's like yeah, um, was the uh, Elena, and Glenmore like marriage. So I think I did okay there. Well, as I said before, this is gonna be the end of the stream from now. Then. Eyes, from eyes we first is born to sure what song play out. It's a good song. Um, but thank you again. You got the notifications on, so next time I'm streaming, I hope to see you there. Um, but this is going to be it now. Until the next episode or next video. Um, I hope to see you again soon. Thank you for watching, and I'll hope to see you in the next one.